My name is Lisa, I'm 43 years old. I live in Detroit, Michigan, and I'm addicted to eating cat hair. Just chewing it is relaxing. It's a comforting feeling. Her fur is such an interesting texture. It's so soft and puffy and like cotton candy, almost. Sometimes they do get stuck in your teeth, but you can just get them out with flossing and brushing. <laughs> Sorry, it's in my lipstick. When my sister told me she was eating cat hair, I was shocked. It is strange. I don't think she should be eating it. 15 years ago, Lisa began eating cat hair as a way to feel closer to her pets. But it wasn't until she got a new kitten that her unusual bonding ritual turned into a full-blown addiction. Now, two years later, Lisa's so hooked on consuming cat hair that she can't go two hours without a fix. I kind of look at it and make sure it's relatively clean and just calf her. I'll kind of break it apart and then just put it in my mouth. I'll chew it up a little bit and then take it out and maybe mess with it a little bit and then put it back in. There's, I guess you could say maybe like a cotton ball taste. It's much less of a flavor than even human hair. I find the cat hair that I eat all over the apartment, on the floor or on the back of the couch or on the perch, but the best ones are right off the cat. But eating cat hair isn't the only way Lisa feeds her addiction. I groom my cat with my tongue like a mama cat would do to her kitten. Are you my good girl? She'll just like spread out on my arms. I'll just clean like her shoulders and her ears and the back of her head and stuff and her face. I don't get as involved as another cat would. I'm not licking her butt. Or in between the paws that go in the litter box. But it's a bonding thing. And we both seem to enjoy it.